hello. Um, what we're going to do right now is test something I've been working on, and um, it's a, a Chidemo controller for uh, based on ESP32. Um, so what I've previously been using is a Arduino Dewey with a, a shield sat on top of it, and. Um, it, it was pretty, pretty basic hardware. There was no no protection whatsoever on the the inputs, and uh, on one occasion I was left stranded when I'd blown one of the inputs. Uh, it, it's one that gets grounded, so there really shouldn't have been 12 volts ever get on there, but somehow it did, or some voltage got in there that shouldn't blow the inputs in. Um, I spent a, a small fortune on various Dewey's to replace it. I think I had another three. Uh, and they were starting to get quite expensive. They're not cheap anymore. They've gone up uh, gone up in price quite significantly. Uh, so uh, I said I'm trying to replace it with an ESP32, which is a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, so we're just going to go to the Instavolt around the corner. Check that it works. Well, <laughs> it did work last time. I did a little test on a, a test board and that did work, but I've made some software changes since then. Uh, so we will just be checking that. Yeah. See you at the station. I can't get onto the Insta Vault because there's uh, a the van in the space next to it, it's taking up most of the charging space. Uh, try the BP pulse around the corner. Hopefully, this isn't busy. If not, I'll have to come back another time. The problem with that insta vault there, the spaces are quite small and uh, there's usually somebody badly parked next to one of them so that one of the two charges is usually inaccessible. I don't know how loud that creak is on the video but that is really winding up and we have to find out where that comes from. Quite a loud creep. If I got lost here, I might I think I needed to turn up actually. Down this one. Oh yeah. The BP pulse is free, that's alright, we'll go there.
I'm gonna charge in. Right, so the, this is the web interface. Uh, there we go, I have fixed that on the... I just haven't uploaded that version, but it tells you the state of the demo. Uh, these are the parameters the station's reporting. Oops, I'm still on VPN. Uh, so it's stating it can go up to 475 volts. I've wanted 400 volts max. Uh, this unit says it can do 125 amps. Oh, we're just ramping up there, 80 amps, 83, uh, so 30 kilowatts, 33 kilowatts, uh, there's a bit more debugging info there, just to go away for that. So this is the web interface, and there we go. So there's some settings there. Basically, set whether you're using BMS so it gets the state of charge from the BMS, your max charge, your max voltage, target voltage, that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, so while we're just getting a little bit charged, this is the board. Basically, sticks stick an ESP32 on there. There's a couple of uh, CAN transceivers, uh, opto isolators, uh, basically just to give a couple of input and outputs. And then it eventually it goes in a nice little box like that. Yeah. Connector. Yeah, it replaces the messy Dewey. Really quite pleased with that, very happy. So yeah, while we're still charging, let's have another check. Still charging now doing hundred amps. I think that might be the max I've asked for. hundred amps, let's have a look. Hundred amps is the max that I've asked for. Probably want to bump that up a little bit further, but there we go. I've got a couple of other little things to sort out. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm currently not using the BMS. Uh, I haven't got these set to anything specific. I think they're, they're, they're going to be very wrong. What we've got amp hours, capacity. Uh, so that's why. Let me display state of charge. That's a massive number. But there we go, happy with that.